All right, time for something completely different. This is an album that has been recommended to me from friends and fans alike, and man, what a journey. Let's dive into it. We were born. The Worm by HMLTD. So HMLTD, which stands for Happy Meals Limited, is a punk art band from Britain, uh, specifically from London. Uh, got their form in 2015, put out their first album uh, of uh, West of Eden in 2020. Uh, they had their first EP of Hate Music, Last Time Delete, uh, in 2018. Uh, but this is my first exposure to the band. This is my introduction of the band. Uh, and as I mentioned, a couple of my friends had told me about this band, saying how good this album is. Uh, and a couple of my fans even wanted to know my opinion about it. So here we are. Man, what can I say about this album? This album is a trip. This album really is a journey. It's a rock opera in the same vein that like uh, both Pink Floyd's The Wall, because there's a lot of, you know, parallels that can be drawn between that. Uh, but also in terms of like musical stylings, I would say to like uh, Green Day's 21st Century Breakdown or American Idiot in terms of like this punk rock band going more rock opera in their expression. The overall concept of this album is one that I can really gravitate to, you know? Uh, it's essentially, uh, much like a Pink Floyd uh, concept album, it kind of gets lost a little bit within the weeds, but in my mind, it's in one hand a, a narrative tale of this massive worm that... Uh, makes itself known in medieval England and begins to eat everybody because that's what it's made for. But it's also this metaphor of modern day depression uh, and mental illness, uh, using the word, uh, the worm as a metaphor for depression and whatnot that eats through the brains. Um, and again, there's where the parallel between Pink Floyd's The Wall with the worms uh, becoming like the withdrawal of the human experience uh, due to the depression and the anxiety and the mental strain and illness of an individual from an individual's point of view. Um, and so very similar to how a worm will dig through the dirt to get to wherever it needs to go just based on its own instincts without scent or sight or... Um, you know, audio, uh, audio, uh, and just basing it on touch and feel and vibrations, uh, very similar to how depression doesn't discriminate and will just bury its way deep into the mind of, uh, of individuals. It's a very poignant, it's a very, um, you know, crystal clear kind of, uh, metaphor in that sense. Uh, and it's very moving as well throughout the album. The album itself is, uh, it, as I mentioned, it's a trip. It's, you know, nine tracks over just over 40 minutes worth of music. And it's it's a very quick, precise album in that sense that covers a lot of ground musically. Like the album opens up with this really beautiful um, harmony within just vocal works. You know, it's it's sung in this around. You got the four part harmonies within there. Um, I, I've, I'm drawn really well within that so right from the first little bit it sucked me in and wormlands the second track really is like that very avant-garde raw kind of styles um you know it's very punchy it's very aggressive it's reminding me of some of the more intensive moments from like black midi where they're like really in your face really intense uh and same with the end is now you know and it's very aggressive it's very um all over the place in that sense but what i like is like this is the first couple of times where we actually get into a song proper rather than just things being thrown on the wall and seeing what stuck and this goes into one of the more somber tracks of days which is really like a, a really beautiful piano ballad you know we've got the lead singer and a harmony within there and a piano and really that's about it like things start to build a little bit and i'm reminded of like black country new road in that kind of sense where it's really intimate it's just you and a few of the performers on the stage and really it's it's allowing this introspection to happen and man we come into the saddest wor worm ever and oh boy, it's it's pretty intense. Like it's it's all based on this root of like this power gets you high, power gets you high, power, power, power gets you high, power gets you high. And like that is the root of this track that just kind of like 
digs its way into your brain, very similar to the worms that are digging into the brain here, uh, that allows for this big crescendo and this big, like, ugh, grating aspect of it that I'm just like, ugh. And that same kind of energy is brought within Liverpool Street and the worm itself. Like, we're going from strange small little passage to strange small little passage with like a lot of space in between, a lot of room for things to kind of start to fall apart. And, you know, if we're using that metaphor of the worm being depression, it's like uh, you you're, you're got this really strong wet blanket that's like creating this like barrier for you. Um, and you're only able to get little pieces out at a time and so you just get them out and hope that the, whatever it is that you're trying to say lands because who knows right and when we come into past live the sinner man song uh which is the longest track at just over seven seven minutes long whoof it's it's kind of like this big cathartic release I've been watching a lot of Lovecraft Country, uh, the HBO miniseries, uh, and it ends with the same kind of syncopated uh, piano work, uh, specifically with Sinner Man. So it's like very similar how they're able to recontextualize this very traditional track into this kind of style of music. Uh, and man, it's it's a trip. It's It's a massive trip. And then finally, my favorite track off the album, the closer track of Lay Me Down, is just so heart-wrenching and so moving that by the end of it, I'm just so cathartically released that, you know, we finally have been able to deal with the worms. We're finally able to, you know, actually deal with the problem here. It doesn't mean that they're not there. It just means that we've got the resources and tools now to actually deal with them. Uh, and Lay Me Down is such this, like, ugh. I can finally breathe. I can finally do something about it. Um, doesn't mean that it's over. It just means that we're able to deal with it. Uh, and I really appreciate that this is how they chose to end the album off. So yeah, and it ends on such a beautiful note. And I will come back to Lay Me Down specifically just to listen to that one piece. So yeah, this album is, as I mentioned, it's a trip. It is a journey. Uh, that's the best kind of descriptor that I can use for this because of how just intense it is. You know, this isn't necessarily one that you want to put on in the background. This is one that you want to sit down and engage with because it covers a lot of different ground. This is the kind of album that I, 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 I can't recommend to everybody, but I hope that this album finds its audience. If you're craving more style from like a Black Country New Road or a Black Midi, think you're really, really going to enjoy this one. You know, I, I think that this one scratches that itch uh, just perfectly. Uh, and it's for that reason that I'll say The Worm from HMLTD is one that I would absolutely pick up in physical format. If you can find this out there, I highly recommend doing so. Uh, again, this album isn't for everybody. I would give, you know, this one a stream first uh, because I feel like people are either going to love this album or they're not quite going to understand or really get into it. You know, this is this is one of those albums that's going to be, if, if it finds its audience, it's going to really love this album. But if it's not, it's going to be kind of a hit and miss kind of thing. So it was a hit for me. This is one I've been coming back to and really, really enjoying. So... Yeah, that's it for me today, and that's my take on The Worm from HMLTD. What did you guys think about this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Whatever you thought, please let me know by commenting down below, because that's all I got for you guys today. So, thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are definitely the best, and until next time, notes out.